What's up, guys? Sam and Jamma here. I'm going to go over a swing trade recap from this week. Yes, yes, yes. You heard it here first. Uh, first on the list, we've got some Pan W. Uh, Pan W is actually one we took this morning right after the opening bell here. And as you can see, we had a very strong rip. We uh, took um, it was it was dealer's choice of March or April calls, and we hit 35 to 45 percent on these. I do see this little bit of a channel. We want to make sure this doesn't set up into a bear flag type play. So definitely stop loss at break even uh, for our final contracts. And if we can get a break and a hold of 285, I really like this. It's off to the races. Uh, obviously, it looks a little bit of a bear flag right now, but one to watch long term. Definitely big on the list. Next, we have XOM. Um, this one, unfortunately, didn't play out the way I was hoping it would play out. Um, we had a pretty nasty sell-off yesterday after a nice push up. We took this trade Wednesday right about here, and we did have about 25% on the table yesterday, uh, but it didn't play out the way I'd hoped it would. If we look at the if we look at the four-hour chart, or actually the yeah the four-hour chart here, uh, we have a nice inverse head and shoulders. It just was it wasn't able to pop it. We wanted to see that pop. Um, and it's unfortunate that we had not gotten the pop we were looking for on this swing trade. So this is another one that we, uh, we played this week and definitely played out pretty well. Next, we have Roku Baby. What a bear. So Roku was a swing put set up. The other two were calls. This was a put. And we had taken entry of this trade. If we want to look at the daily chart, we took entry on this trade at the loss of $66 on Tuesday. So right here. And we had um, our ultimate target, of course, was the full gap fill down here around 60. We have had a little bit of a bullish market. But that first couple day of a sell-off here where we could not reclaim 64.50 and we stayed below it really set up for this one, this one, which we got about 70% on our March swing puts on this one, which was absolutely beautiful. We cannot complain. Um, it was a great setup on this one as well. So those were the three main swing trades that we had this week. And then hood was the final one, which is absolutely ripping right now. We are currently up on hood approximately let me check we are up about 50 percent on this one we took this one monday i'm sorry we took this one last friday so we took this one right here on friday and we've got the april con no the march contracts and we are breaking into higher territory here. We've already had a couple major trims. This one really could continue on. And this is one, however, that I really like longer term as well. And I'm probably going to add on some long term as well. So here's your hot take of the day. I'm going to add some hood calls. I'm going to do July hood calls here. Give it a little bit of time on this one because I do think that it could really have some continuation coming out of earnings. Now, you know what? We'll do June. I'm going to do some June hood calls. You can do 15, 16, or 17s. June hood calls. That is an exclusive call out for me. As long as we hold 1350, we are good to go. I'm going to play this one till we come home, till the cows come home, baby. That is my swing trade update from this week. Thanks, y'all.